Hello and welcome to WRFL Complete Higher Equipment Round 16 Preview. Andrew Wilson along with Peppy Cavalieri. Hello, Peppy. Hello, hello. Let's start with Rams Division 1. Big game here, Altona and Werribee Districts. The loser likely to be out of the double chance spot at the end of this round. Yeah, one of the biggest games of the season, Willow. Uh, second versus third. We know the Tigers ran away with it last time, one by 45 points. So they were too strong in the end at home. Perhaps the home ground advantage might be decisive this week. That's really the only factor that I'm, I suppose, weighing up for my decision. I don't know what the decisive factor might be on the ground. We know the Vikings last time struggled for multiple goal kickers. They only had three. So... If that happens again, they're going to struggle, but I think they might. They're in a bit better shape at the moment than the Tigers. I think just form-wise, a bit stronger for me. Yeah, I'm going Altona just because it is at home as well. Deer Park should be too strong for Caroline Springs. I agree. Spotswood take on St Albans. Safe in the five now, Spotswood. They are, and a good opportunity with uh, Altona playing Werribee Willow to potentially move a little closer to a top three spot because we know barring another draw to the Tigers, God forbid, um, then, uh, then um, they're going to get a little bit closer. So it's a pretty important game. You'd expect the Woodsmen to win, although they haven't blown teams away really this year, but you'd think they should be able to get the job done against St Albans. Yeah, I agree with that one. Sunshine take on Albion. Yeah, season done for Sunshine after last week's loss to Hoppers Crossing. So um, you'd probably have to ask then what they try to get out of the season from here. It's been disappointing, obviously frustrating, um, with all the setbacks that they've had. But uh, should be a pretty decent game. I, I, you feel that Albion could pose a bit of a threat to Sunshine at the moment, but I think the Kangaroos at home should win. Yeah, I think Sunshine will win that one. The final game in Rams Division 1 is at Wyndham Vale taking it on Hoppers Crossing. Hoppers Crossing win. They should move into the top three. They should, and uh, I think they will uh, with a win over Wyndham Vale. should be too strong. They've been in some good form of late and a very convincing performance last week against the Kangaroos, who, despite all their troubles, are still a good, good enough side and could have posed a threat there. Yeah. All right. Hoppers Crossing, I think, will win that one. Division 2 is Auburn Vale taking on West Footscray. Auburn Vale's only win this season was at home. Round 2 against West Footscray. Can they do it again? Uh I don't think so. Uh, they were pretty decent for a half last week against Parkside, though. Auburn Bale, but West Footscray, well, they caused a pretty decent upset yeah. against Newport Power. We know they play well at home, Willow, but it really put a dent in the Power's finals chances. They're now two games out of the four, and they're going to find it difficult to make it there in the end. So I think the Roosters, for me, their form's been pretty good and a chance for their fifth win of the season. Yeah, I think West Footscray will win that one. Newport with a loss last week of really, as you said, mentioned just before, Pep, may not play finals now. Take on Point Cook, who pushed, kicked away late against Manor Lakes in the night game last last weekend. Yeah, they had a lot of opportunities, uh, 29 scoring shots to 13 in the end, Willow. So I suppose they controlled the game from that standpoint. They're finding their feet a little bit as we enter the pointy end. We had, they had a bit of a slump about a month ago, but they're picking themselves up nicely and uh, should be raring for a finals chance uh, later in the year. But I I think uh, they should be too strong for Newport. Uh, it's funny how th quickly things can change in footy. A couple of weeks ago, a win against Parkside would have had them a game clear in the four. As it is, they've lost their past two and now they're two games out. So just like that, their season's close to being done. And if they can't win this week, yeah. then it is. Yeah, I think uh, they I think Point Cook would be too strong in that one. Uh, Manor Lakes take on North Footscray in our match of the day on 88.9 Win FM. Massive game for Manor Lakes. Win, keep their finals hopes alive. And if North Footscray yeah. win, they'll probably submit. They'll probably guarantee their place a place in the finals. And lose, they could miss out the last year's uh, premiers. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Uh, Manor Lakes so close last week against Point Cook, so they take a bit of confidence from that. I think from the Saturday night match, North Footscray uh, really bad against Yarraville, 102 point defeat again. So they've been smashed both times by the team they beat in the grand final last year. It's uh, bizarre to say that if they don't win, then their finals chances really are hanging by a thread, Willow. It's, an imp it's a huge game for both teams, really is must win for both sides. I think the Devils have the better lineup though, and they should win. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Devils as well. The final game in Division 2 is Yarraville Seddon taking on Parkside. Not a great time for Parkside. They take on uh, the best team in Division 2. Two games clear in the four, but will probably drop, only be a game, out, game safe after this round. Yeah, you're right, Will. I mean, uh, the Magpies, it's a great opportunity for them, though. I mean, they've beaten some good teams in the lead-in. So I think this is a great 
you say it's a bad time to play them, but I suppose it's a good time in terms of getting an idea of where they sit going into September. So I don't expect them to win Willow, but um, what they can get out of it is how competitive they can be against yeah. the team that looks so far to be far and away probably the strongest team in Division 2. Yeah. Uh, I think Yarraville Centre will win that one as well. Division 3, North Sunshine take on Braybrook. Braybrook really need to win because uh, Sunshine Heights are coming. There's not many rounds left, but they're just holding on. They are coming, um, I suppose, but they, they've got a tough run. I mean, you see ahead, they've got to play um, I mean, Glen Orden this week, but then I think Point Cook Centrals and Wyndham Suns after that. Yeah. So hard-pressed and a lot of luck is going to have to go their way for there to find their way into finals. Um, Braybrook just spluttering a bit after that win against Wyndham Suns a few weeks ago, smashed by Point Cook Centrals two weeks ago. And then, obviously, last week, pretty disappointing. So, again, against Sunny Heights. So, you'd expect them to beat North Sunshine, but it's a danger game for sure. Yeah, I'm going to go with Braybrook there. Uh, next game is Point Cook Centrals and Wyndham Suns. This is huge, this one. It's double chance, top spot, all up for grabs here for the um, big game for the Point Cook Centrals if they win. Wyndham Suns spluttering as well at the moment. Well, they are. They've lost two of their last three and in between only an eight-point win to against Glen Orden. So they're really barely rolling at the moment. Wyndham Suns, um, I mean, they were certainly good enough to win last week against Tarnit, just didn't quite get it done in the end, ran out of time. I think if that had have gone for another minute, they probably would have snatched it. But um, it's really interesting. A few weeks ago, they were unbeaten. You couldn't have thought that they'd finish anywhere else than top of the ladder. But with Tarnit playing Laverton, they probably, probably win this week. Yeah. If they lose to Point Cook Centrals, they're going to drop to third Willow. So it's it's unbelievable. And then the prospect of playing a not cutthroat final against Braybrook, who has beaten them once and pushed them all the way in another. So And then you never know what can happen in a cutthroat final. So imagine that, Wyndham Suns, if that was the scenario, potentially out first week of finals. I mean, it's a big call, obviously. It's a long way before something like that would happen. But that's how important this week is. And I'm. I think the Sharks might win. Their form's been good. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Sharks as well at home. Synopsis. It was. <laughs> it certainly was. That's all right. Sunshine Heights take on a Glen Orden. Uh, should be a good game. We've uh, had some good contests between these two teams so far. Uh, home ground advantage for mine, I think. Sunny Heights, too strong. And last week's win against Braybrook would have given them a bit of confidence. Yeah, I think Sunshine Heights win that one. The final game is Tarnik taking on Lavard, and you think Tarnik would be far too strong. Yeah, I agree, Willow. Uh, the Titans were excellent last week. Uh, they hung on in the end, got the four points, and um, now they're striving for that top spot. So, And certainly trying to cement a top two, if anything less. So I think they'll win. This has been the Complete Hire Equipment WRFL Round 16 Preview. Good luck to your team this weekend.